Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and boy oh boy do we have a lot of exciting news. We are actually going to focus today on some WWE slash WWF Funko Pops that have just been announced. And there is a little bit of an issue I got with them so let's get rolling with a fresh edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. Now, of course, you're sitting here looking at me and saying, hey, wait a second. He's got a piece of paper in his hand, so you know that I have prepared for this episode of 8 Minutes of Turn. That's right, because I was so devastated by some of these Funko Pops, I just had to talk about it. So let's start off with the big news. Today, the Chopper and the Chopper Chase Metallic was released on Funko Shop Europe. A lot of people were anticipating it was going to be released today on the Funko United States Funko Shop, and it was not. Of course, they had the early links and people were probably posting and skitzing now that it said sold out. However, it didn't go up yet, so you really didn't miss out on anything. I'm sure it will be up later this week. But for all of us in the US, we kind of lucked out. However, as I'm seeing that there's so many chases that they posted for uh, Toys R Us in Canada and other such stores, they even had the Luffy with the Thousand Sunny at Toys R Us. Tons of them. So I'm thinking they made a large amount of these comments and chases of Chopper and everyone's going to get one. I'm just assuming that's what's going to happen. Uh, so what they did do today is they actually released a Elsa uh, Frozen Funko Pop with the gold set pen. They've done this with a variety of other Disney princesses and it's not really selling out. Uh, they also released a Freddy Funko uh, skiing or some shit like that, but I, I could have sworn I've seen that maybe last year that they released, or maybe they gave it out as a gift to people. I'm not really too sure on that one. So now we're just gonna dive in and go let's right into it with the WWE Funko Pops. So we'll talk about the thing I have the most problem with. So they have some kind of um, new releases that are coming out, I guess, throughout the year. Uh, first, let's talk about the Bret the Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels uh, wrestling pop moment at WrestleMania 12. It was the first Iron Man match, which went to 0-0 zero zero after 60 minutes. Shawn Michaels was in the Sharps shooter. Bret Hart almost had him tap out. The time limit went off. That was it. Gorilla Monsoon came out, of course. Said there has to be a winner to this match. Of course, Bret Hart comes in the ring. Two crescent kicks. One, two, three. Shawn Michaels' first huge title win for the world title at WrestleMania. The boyhood dream has come true. Classic moment. Now, a lot of people have been saying, well, this isn't the Montreal Screwjob. Of course, it's not the Montreal Screwjob. That was that Survivor Series, and you know the whole spiel, and that's not for me to get into. There's tons of YouTube things you can watch on that. It was huge. Huge! All right. The other Funko Pops that they were also coming out with was another moment, which is, I believe, coming out next year at TardCon 2023, is Andre the Giant vs. Hulk Hogan. I think it was WrestleMania 3. Uh, he body slammed them. That was a big moment. A lot of people said that uh, Andre the Giant kind of made wrestling famous. And he was. He was a big dude. People loved him. He was in a bunch of movies. He was great. Uh, that's a great pop moment. It looked pretty cool. And then they had a Bam Bam Bigelow, which is a Walmart exclusive, which I think was for pre-order today as well, uh, that you could get. Bam Bam Bigelow uh, was great. I liked him back in the day. Um, I really didn't watch more of his stuff after he left WWE. I think he got sick. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, what happened with him there. I didn't really follow it. And on the back of the Bam Bam Bigelow, they did show other Funko Pops that are coming out for the series, such as Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, they have a Matt Riddle. They had a Dusty Rhodes. I believe the Dusty Rhodes already came out, though. Uh, they have a Randy Orton that may have come out. Um, I'm just trying to see here. I really can't see what it is. I think... I know they're coming out with Rhea Ripley, and I can't read the name on this. Man, that's really, really... Oh, Ricky the Dragon <laughs> Steamboat. Okay. I, I knew the garb looked good, but I didn't want to say it was Tatanka or anything like that. I saw the headdress, so Tatanka usually came out in a headdress, too. So, yeah, that that's cool. Uh, yeah, that looks really cool. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat looks banging. Uh, maybe out of all of these, that's the one I'm going to get. And the problem that I had, which we were going to discuss, is the pop moment of Undertaker and Paul Bear WrestleMania 9. Now I looked online just to verify that I knew my Roman numerals that X1 is 11 and 1X is 9. So I wasn't going to make a mistake and I wasn't going to get you know blamed for this. 
Um, I went on Twitter and I read Funko Finders and the Diz guy and because they're usually two I really follow. And I'm looking in the comments for everything that has posted this Undertaker um, moment with Paul Bear. And nobody commented on how they effed up on this Funko Pop. Now, they did release a couple months back a Undertaker with uh, the casket at a GameStop exclusive. And I what I think they did, and I'm 100% sure on this because I just have to be, they just took the figure, duplicated it, and threw him in the box. They didn't even look for the accuracy of the Undertaker's attire. At WrestleMania 9, Undertaker did not wrestle in black and purple. He dressed in his normal gray and black against Giant Gonzalez. See, that's right, Giant Gonzalez, the dude who wore the bodysuit, and no one was supposed to be able to tell that it was a bodysuit. It's like bodysuit man. Hey, like George Costanza. Hey, bodysuit guy. Hey, hey. If you know if Seinfeld, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's just inaccurate. And I don't like the inaccuracy that Funko does. It, it would have been a simple thing to just look it up and be like, oh, right, that's not the right color. Let's just flip it. Now, they do have a time to do that. It hasn't been released yet. I think it's only for pre-order. It is a GameStop exclusive, so maybe someone at GameStop would be like, hey, this is the wrong thing. But as of now, I haven't seen anything about changes. However, they did mess up on the skateboard that they released for uh, Kakashi because they misspelled his name, Hatagi Kakashi. They put an I. So possibly, you know, it could be fixed in all retrospect. But as of right now, I'm really not happy with the fact they didn't even do the research. And if you go back to WrestleMania 9, it was actually a pretty good match. Granted, you know, Giant Gonzalez wasn't the greatest of all fighters and shit like that, or wrestlers, I should say. Undertaker's pimp, and it's a WrestleMania match for his undefeated streak. Now we get to the part that I know you're all waiting for, the oops and the downs. All right, first let's hit that Elsa. Elsa, you are getting a down. I didn't watch Frozen. Your song got stuck in everybody's head, and everyone was telling me to let it go. I could not let it go. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is Bam Bam Bigelow. He's looking husky. I did like Bam Bam Bigelow. Love the head buff from the top rope. You're getting it up. That's right, Bam Bam. You're getting it up. Don't forget, that is a Walmart exclusive. And I'm not sure. Does it glow in the dark? It actually might glow in the dark. So that's even pimper. That means the flames on his chest glow. And then we have the uh, Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan moment. That does look pimp. I'm not a huge fan of Hulk Hogan. I never really was a fan of him. But I know my boy Justin loves his, uh, I am a real American. Fight for your right like every man. I am a real American. You're getting in up. Let's continue on. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And then we're going to go to the Shawn Michaels HBK moment. Of course, that's getting it up. Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart are by far two of my top five favorite wrestlers of all time and if they're not in your top five i would love to know your top five um and i did like the iron air match first of the kind love the ending SummerSlam didn't like the montreal screw job but that's not what we're talking about and then we're gonna get to the undertaker and paul bear thing paul bear was the shit undertaker was the shit but i do not like the inaccuracy and the fact that they did not you know try to fix anything or maybe even look into it my name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am sure you enjoyed this video as much as I loved recording it. I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.